finish our series on the round tenon, I'd like to look at the um, threaded tenon. This has a variety of uses, so not to be dismissed just because it's not traditional. Think of a project where you're going to rivet up uh, a number of tenons in a row, a railing for example. Um, you have to put some clamps in here to hold this top and bottom together as you rivet. Well, if you were to take that one out and replace it with, take the threaded tenon out, you're going to reapply that later, and use a bolt, and of course this would be top and bottom. Now you can use the threaded tenon, or the picket, as your clamp. So your threaded tenon is acting as your clamp, top and bottom of course, that will pull it all in. You'll rivet these two up, then you'll remove the bolt, reinsert the tenon, rivet this one up and no one will ever know. That becomes very useful when you start looking at something like uh, an arch where you've got a, a, a hole in here and you have to apply a tenon. That's fine doing that, but trying to put your pipe clamps or something on the side while you rivet this up is difficult, especially if you've got a few of these. So again, the threaded tenon, you could use this as a clamp, rivet up the ones next to it, then come back in and then uh, reinsert your tenon and then rivet that one up. So very useful for the round. The threaded tenon is also very useful for repair work. So if you've had uh, something, a set of gates, for example, brought in that have been hit by a truck, and you have to take them apart. You have to grind this tenon off or cut this tenon off, and then this becomes useless. So you're either going to have to weld on another tenon if you're going to use this bar, and you might be obliged to use this bar, um, or you can drill and tap and insert the tenon and then rivet over. And I find this a little more useful. Larger projects where you've made the frame first and then you want to put the internal workings inside, again, very nice to be able to just have that drill and tap offer up the internal workings and then put in your tenons, etc. and head it over. So frame first and then put in the internal workings. Useful thing. I have a large piece of angle iron bolted to the table of my drill press. Bars are clamped into position with vice grips and longer bars can be inserted through the central hole to get clearance. I've even stepped the drill press on a set of stairs to accommodate longer bars. Pickets are held in the vice as you tap them but you'll find a vertical filing vise useful for threading the tenons. And while you can forge angled tenons, the drill and tap method takes some of the indigestion out of the process. If you like this style of forging, check out my website at markasprey.com and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.